good morning to all today we are going to discuss about binary phase diagram in that we are going to concentrate isomorphous system normally a binary phase diagram means it has two components for example iron carbon system alumina chromia system nickel copper system or the examples of binary phase diagram in that variables can be pressure or temperature can there may be two components so the, this we can say this is binary phase diagram in binary phase diagram is obtained for two components which completely dissolve in liquid solution but completely or partially insoluble in solid solution normally a solid solution should be in the it may be a completely soluble or uh, partially soluble or insoluble we can have a different solid solutions to form a binary phase diagram both the components should have the same crystal structure and should fulfill the Hume Rothery's rule that is it should have same crystal structure atomic size valence electrons and electron negativity now we can see the types of binary alloy systems we can have different systems like completely soluble in both solid and liquid system that is called isomorphous system that we are going to concentrate. Next one is completely soluble in liquid but partially or insoluble in solid state system that is called eutectic system. Another example is peritectic system. This eutectic and peritectic systems are almost the same but there is a change in melting point of the material now we are going to see isomorphous system in isomorphous system the two components are completely soluble in both liquid and solid states in the system only a single type of crystal structure exists for all the composition of the components for example if the iron has bcc structure throughout the experiment it will it will have only bcc structure it will not go to any other structure that is the meaning of this for example alumina chromia copper silver gold silver and antimony bitmus system these are the examples of isomorphous systems that is for example when we take antimony bismuth these are completely both the materials metals are completely soluble in liquid as well as in solid state then only we are saying this is isomorphous system for example we'll take alumina chromia system aluminum oxide and chromium oxide is an example of isomorphous system it is an example of isomorphous system it is the simplest binary system this phase diagram has the same three regions it has liquid phase region liquid and solid phase region and a solid phase region it has three different regions we can see through the images in the downward curve we are having only solid solution in the upward we are having only liquid in the middle that is like flower flower like petal like position it has liquid and solid solution so totally it has three different regions of solid solution liquid solution and solid plus liquid solution it has variables like pressure and temperature now we'll see solid phase region it has solid solution of alumina and chromia solution it has both aluminum oxide and chromium oxide solution in case of liquid state it means where the solidification starts from liquid to solid state that is called a solidification then we are having solid state that means it means where the solidification ends that is it it is completely becoming a solid material then we are having liquid plus solid phase region where both liquid and solid coexist in this region this is called a liquid phase liquid and solid phase region the phase binary between liquid phase and two phase region is called liquid state the phase boundary between solid and two phase region is called it solidus phase if only one phase is present composition at particular temperature is given by intersecting with composition axis axis that is shown in the diagram as a petal when two phases are present that is liquid plus solid region a horizontal line called tie line is 
gives both liquid and solid composition with this we have com uh, completed our isomorphous system as an example for binary system in this we have seen what is isomorphous system with an example of aluminum oxide and chromium oxide thank you